Less than five months ago, the largest wildfire in Colorado state history was burning right through these snow-packed hillsides. The trees and brush were just that dry. Uh, we also have a statewide drought, hotter, drier climate. And unfortunately, 2020 was not an anomaly. It was, in fact, a harbinger of the future. Colorado Governor Jared Polis has since issued a drought emergency in the state. But the real cowboy boots on the ground effort to hold back the dryness is happening here, just 60 miles from that fire line. You know, the lack of water, you know, doesn't help things grow very well. <laughs> Mandy and Matt Gordon ranch this land outside of Steamboat Springs in a new high-tech way. And then you just walk along and, and put it in there and place the wire just as you go. Now here's how ranching normally works. You buy or lease a large chunk of land, you let your cattle graze and wander everywhere, you feed them, and the herd grows healthy and strong. But the soil often suffers, especially in these dry times. More and more people are finding that by switching to grazing management, they're able to have a little bit more success. Grazing management means the Gordons use this solar charged electric fence to box off small areas of the field. The cattle don't graze everywhere at once. And then we would move them like two days later to a the next one that was like an acre or two. We say, come on boys, and they come through the gate. We don't have to do any pushing or anything because they know what's coming is fresh grass and then their heads are down eating all the grass. <laughs> the idea here is to keep grass growing and water flowing under those hooves. So that allows the photosynthesis process to occur, you know, which sequesters carbon. The boom in microbreweries nationwide is helping ranchers as well. This feed, is actually leftover mash from the beer making process and grazing animals love it. So do the Gordon's customers. It turned out to be really, really good beef. Folks on the other end who, um, you know, don't really eat a whole lot of meat, they would try it and say, this is really good. This kind of sustainable ranching was originally developed in Africa and is now growing in popularity on the dry lands around the Colorado River. It'll help our land be more productive even no matter what the precipitation event is. Still being able to be productive through times of drought. Just as Colorado ranchers are adapting to a changing climate here in the Rockies, some cattle themselves are getting used to new earth under their feet every single day.